going to cover briefly using Clorox bleach or other household bleach brands as your primary disinfectant for your pool water. Basically the Clorox bleach is about half the strength of your liquid chlorine that you would find in your local pool store. Uh, this Hassa brand is actually 12.5% and the Clorox bleach comes in around 5.7%. So it's about half the strength. Test your chlorine like usual with the OTO tester, whatever test kit you have, and see what level it's at. So depending on your pool size and depending on how high you want to raise the chlorine level is how much of the Clorox bleach you want to add to your pool. And I have a video on my channel that shows you how to calculate the amount of chemical you're going to need to raise it up. So if I want to raise this to three parts per million, I would add a specific amount of the Clorox bleach to do that. If you add liquid chlorine, you want to pour it around the perimeter of your pool. So if you're going to use the Clorox bleach as your primary sanitizer, then make sure you have 30 to 50 parts per million of the cyanuric acid in your pool. Otherwise the sun will destroy the chlorine out of the pool pretty quickly with the UV rays if you don't have the proper conditioner level. You'll just be basically wasting your money by throwing in the product and it will have no protection from the sun's UV rays. You also want to keep your pH in the ideal range when you do this if you're going to use this Clorox bleach to sanitize your pool. It makes the coin much more effective when the pH is balanced. Okay, one key is you need to have a good test kit if you're going to be maintaining your pool at home with the Clorox bleach. I like the OTO tester for the chlorine because it gives you a nice bright yellow color. And when you insert the background, you can really see the chlorine level really clearly and the pH. And these five-way test kits also give you an acid demand test. I would also invest in a good tailor kit. I use the K2005 or 206. This one has also the cyanuric acid tester, calcium hardness, the alkalinity of course. This one also does alkalinity. And it also has the acid demand and it also has the base demand. So this is an excellent test to invest in. Just make sure that these solutions are fresh. They're dye based so they do go bad. So the use of a good test kit and the test strips is highly recommended if you're going to do this properly. If not, there's no way you're going to get your water balanced properly without the right testing. And you want to do this at least once a week, two or three times if needed, depending on your pool size. This is a relatively small pool here. It actually has a tree that fell into it, so that's a little bit of an issue right now. So the problem with 3-inch tablets is that if you overuse them, you can actually over-condition your pool. Uh, the 3-inch tablets, about half the weight of these are cyanuric acid. So they'll add conditioner to the water as they melt in your pool. If you just want to use Clorox bleach to sanitize your pool, it is highly effective. It's got to be done in the correct way. Again, you want to keep the pH in balance. You want to check your chemicals more often than if you were using the trichlor tablets or the dichlor since the bleach and liquid chlorine have no conditioner or stabilizer in them. You also have to have the right stabilizer level of 30 to 50 parts per million for it to be effective in your pool.